So in this video, I want to talk about Pro Tools 12.5. It's finally here. It showed up on my account a couple of hours ago. Pretty surprised. It's supposed to be released on the 31st, so I don't know. I guess it showed up on some users' accounts a little earlier than it was supposed to. And I really haven't took a look at this yet. So this isn't really a review. I just wanted to make a video and let you guys know that it's out. We're going to take a look at Pro Tools uh, 12.5 together but before i do that let's take a look at some things that might be interesting to you now as you can see it's not currently covered under your subscription although that free part it's three projects 500 megabytes then the next option is nine dollars and 99 cents which is five projects and 20 gigabytes then after that is 24 dollars 99 cents and it's 10 projects 60 gigabytes so at least you have a couple of options to choose from which is pretty good so the free options looking good and personally, most of the people I work with either have older versions of Pro Tools or they use different DAWs. Now, if you're new to this and you're wondering, what am I talking about? The Avid Cloud uh, project. This is how this collaboration thing works. So let's say you live in a building, you have a friend that's on the fifth floor and you live on the basement. You guys could use this function to work together, record your music without being in the same room. Or if you have someone in London or any part of the world you use this collaboration tool and you record music just like if the person was there. So let's minimize this and let's start a new project. So there are two things new here, type of project. And if you click that drop down window, you're gonna see project, cloud, and then session local. And the next thing it's logged into my Avid account. And the weird thing is it's saying storage 51% already used. This is crazy. I've never uh, used this before. Now, the only thing I'm thinking of, maybe this is using the same storage as Pro Tools First, because Pro Tools First kind of works like this. You cannot save locally, it saves to the cloud. So I'm assuming that must be a project that I worked on in the past, but I'll check up on that. So let's create a new project and let's call it test. I'm gonna leave the settings at default, create. There we go, so it's uploading everything to the cloud. And I don't know, I'm getting some errors here. Failed payment require, failed payment require. I'm assuming that the payment require must be because uh, this is supposed to launch on the 31st and not on the 28th. All right, so let's create a couple of tracks, five tracks. And nice, now there's a collab tab here. And unfortunately, everything is grayed out, so if I hover over something, I don't think it's going to tell me what it's for. Let's see. Ah, no current functions. This track is not shared. But if we take a look at the transport bar, we have this new section here. Check it out. We have, what is this? We have uh, invite another user to this project. We have something that looks like a chat. Yes. Show artist chat. And also track ownership requests. There are no pending ownership requests. Ah, okay. So let's take a look at this option here. This is the, the chat option and i'm assuming this is where you would either find a buddy to share your session or to join somebody else's session hopefully soon i'll solve all these issues and as soon as i find out why i can't upload any tracks to the cloud i'll try to make another video and we'll talk about this a little more like i said it wasn't a review i just wanted to let you guys know that this is out well i think is out what i want you guys to do go to your avid account and find out if you guys got it in your avid account if it's not available in your Avid account, then I guess you just have to wait till the 31st. It's a couple of days away. Another thing, if you want to see this in action, I would suggest to check the description. Go to Pro Tools Expert. Those guys got an awesome video, and it shows you how this thing works. It's just an amazing video, and it's an amazing tool. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, post in the bottom, like the video, and if this is your first time watching one of my videos, subscribe. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later, guys. So I want to discuss Structure Free, a plugin that ships with Pro Tools. And it's a plugin that a lot of people overlook, but it's a pretty great plugin. Sure, it has some limitations, but we can work around those limitations. And what I want to talk about in 